Hello everyone, this is Dr. Anindita Roy. Today, I on behalf of my entire team, Dr. Shenge, Ramesh, Shraddha, Bhushan and Dr. Makran would like to speak to you about our invention related to a low temperature thermal energy storage tank called as thermocline tank. Hot water is generated by solar thermal collectors or as a byproduct in many process industries. Conventionally, water is stored in a single tank wherein the hot water from the collector is allowed to mix with the cold water already present in the tank. In doing so, what happens is that the temperature of the water which is available to the user is relatively lower than the temperature available from the collector outlet. And therefore, this leads to a degradation of the quality of energy. In a thermocline tank, this degradation in quality is prevented by arresting the convective mixing between the hot and cold fluids, thereby creating a natural barrier between the hot and cold fluid masses. Buoyancy is the mechanism separating the cold and hot water, resulting into a region of a very steep temperature gradient called as a thermocline. So now one can comprehend that a thermally stratified tank improves availability and reduces the storage volume, thus conserving energy and saving money. This is the actual experimental setup where you see the thermocline storage tank and the various inlets and outlets for water to enter and to be withdrawn for the utility. Uh, in this setup, the hot water is generated using resistance heaters in this tank. There are temperature indicators and controls to control the temperature rise and the working of the entire system. In this setup, we have used solar flat plate collectors connected in series to generate hot water. The outlet of the solar collectors is connected to a stratified storage tank. The hot water now is restricted to the top portion of the tank which can be withdrawn from the diametrically opposite end for immediate use. Cold makeup water enters from the bottom part of the tank to keep it always full. The system can be operated either in a closed loop mode or in an open loop mode as you see in both of these figures. Let us now look into the design details of the tank. The tank is designed with an aspect ratio of 3 is to 1 that is the height is 3 times the diameter. This is essential for maintaining a proper stratification. The tank is made from 1.6 mm thick mild steel and insulated with 50 mm thick glass wool. At the inlet to the tank, there is a diffuser. Diffuser is a key element responsible for creating and maintaining a stable stratification. We will see the design of the inlets and outlets to the tank as well as the diffuser in the following slide. This is the inlet to the tank. As you see, hot water which enters at this inlet is forced to impinge with the top part of the tank which causes it to lose its kinetic energy and falls down on this structure which we call as the diffuser. The diffuser comes in various shapes such as a perforated diffuser or a stratifier which is a cylindrical pipe with many radial holes. In the present project, we have used a diffuser which is slotted and its CAD diagram is shown in this figure. We have also used a group of 10 resistance temperature detectors mounted on a central pipe and placed inside the tank 
so as to enable temperature measurement at various depths along the tank the spiral design of the rtd tree ensures measurement along both the radial as well as axial dimensions of the tank i hope you were able to understand and appreciate the concept please like us on youtube and share it with all your contacts thank you